The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. Hello, good morning, and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. We have got 19 days until Christmas Day. Uh, first thing we're going to do this morning is open Jensen's advent. I can hear him getting very excited. He wants Daddy's advent, I think, as well. Right, day six, Jensen. Can you see the number six on the advent? That's four. That's the rabbit. That's three. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Number two. And number one. There's number six. Number six is here, look. Yeah, that's what you had the other day. Look here. So I open it. Hang on. There we go. Open it. This one. Here. Oh, what is it? Cow. It's not a cow. <laughs> it looks a bit like a cow, but it's a reindeer. He helps pull Santa's sleigh or Father Christmas's sleigh. Can you get him out? Is he stuck? Oh dear. Oh, they're in there well. Move your finger. We can't get it out. There we go. Ah. There we go. Can you show everybody your reindeer, Jensen? There we go. That's that one for today. Can you show me your reindeer? Have a look. Oh yes, that's really cute. So things haven't gone exactly to plan this morning. I've had to do quite a few emails and my accountant wanted me to do a few things. So I've been doing lots of paperwork this morning. Um, this afternoon, I've still been editing yesterday's vlog and I managed to take loads and loads of footage. So it's taking me longer to sort of cut it down to a reasonable amount. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'll get any dyeing done today. We will see. Hopefully I can get this done within an hour and then have some time to pack orders that need to go out today. And then I need to prep the yarn ready to dye. And if I don't get to dye today, then I'll do the actual dyeing tomorrow, but at least I'll have prepped the yarn, got it ready, soaked it in some water and some vinegar, ready to do the actual dyeing tomorrow. Um, so sometimes things just don't go to plan. I'm hoping though that I am looking forward to finishing what I was spinning yesterday because I want to see what it comes out like because it's like a bit of a, a sort of mystery fibre. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun last night. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I have just I found some chocolate in the kitchen. And I've actually got three chocolates <laughs> that Adam does not know about that I'm going to treat myself to while I'm doing the editing. We haven't had chocolate advents this year just yet, only because I haven't sorted out the advent calendars because we've had all the um, the boiler done. Hoping in the next few days we can get all those Christmas decorations out and get the advents put up and then put some chocolates in there so that we can actually have chocolate treats on the days running up to Christmas. So <laughs> I'm hoping that Adam won't watch this video and find out that I've stolen three chocolates out of the chocolate box. Don't tell him. So today's colourway is inspired by the song On the Wings of Love by Geoffrey Osborne and the little extra is a little Robin Progress Keeper. So on yesterday's advent I actually deleted the audio telling you the inspiration song for day five colourway. So yesterday should have been The Bird on the Wire by the Neville Brothers as inspiration. So today's garment, I've got a t-shirt and this is based on the t-shirt called the Agnes t-shirt from Tilly and the Buttons. But I did, I drafted a facing for this instead of doing the normal neck band and I did a faux button placket at the top. I cut the top off and I used a sort of wider piece of a rectangular fabric to have it so that it's slightly gathered. I could have probably done with making it um, slightly narrower 
where I cut it really so that it gathers in more and also putting ties on but I think it's still pretty and it's some lovely fabric that I got from Sea Salt I don't know if they do fabric anymore um, but I know obviously they do garments and things but this was some fabric they were selling off um, a couple of years ago but isn't that lovely I love this fabric the cardigan that I got on with it I've been wearing today is the Blackwood cardigan and this is a cardigan that I've made actually quite a few of they're nice and versatile they don't have any buttons on the front and they're not made to sort of do up um, but they got some nice pockets on this is actually I've omitted the bottom panel so that it is normally a lot longer than this and I do have a grey version it's the full length of the cardigan and I also shortened the sleeves as well to make it so that it was sort of more practical at home I've got one cuff up and one cuff down <laughs> so there we go that is the what I've got on today So now Jensen is asleep, I've got my spinning wheel out, well it's not out of the bag yet, but this is the bag that comes in. I have got an Ashford Joy and this spinning wheel I must have had since 2012 I think. The Ashford Joy that they have now is called the Ashford Joy 2, it's slightly different, I think the bobbin is slightly higher on it than this one. It zips right inside this bag which is handy and it's really handy to carry around. Um, so it's like this, it's sort of folded up and when you get it out of the bag you undo a little hook at the bottom, pull the pedals down and pull the bobbins out the bottom. Hopefully you can just about see that. So the pedals down um, and then that's ready to use. Um, I've pulled the bobbins out and I need to take this out of here. Let's pop the camera down. Right, so I pull this out of the, there is a sort of a nook where it's big enough to fit the actual bobbin in. Um, and now this goes underneath the drive band, or tension band rather, and then screws in here. thread it through the orifice again. I'm in a weird position here showing you. <laughs> it's a bit more difficult to pull it through. But there we go. That's ready to spin again. I just make sure I would probably adjust my tension band a little bit because that um, adjusts the amount that the the yarn draws into the bobbin. Um, so I'll adjust that as I'm starting to spin it because every time you um, sort of dismantle it and put it in the case it needs sort of resetting a little bit. I've got my piece of wood which measures the different thicknesses of yarn so when I have spun a bit I normally fold it over and let it twist onto itself and then I can check the thickness of it on here. Although when you do wash it it does puff up a little bit so it's not the sort of most accurate way of doing it. And it gives you an idea. So I'm ready to spin. I'm going to get on with spinning my fluff that I've got and I'll feel very good about using up some fluff that might have been chucked away. So I haven't had as much time as I wanted to to do this spinning but I've done about half an hour I think. 
Um, but I thought I'd just show you um, how I sort of check how thick it's going to be. I let it go back on itself and then put it up against this gauge. And I think it's coming out about um, 10 or 8 wraps per inch which is about an iron weight, which is what I was going for, sort of DK or iron weight. So I'm pleased about that. Um, so I think I'm going to finish for tonight. Um, but I'm hoping to get a bit more time to do it tomorrow. I don't know where the time's gone this afternoon. Um, so I'm just going to stick it to my Velcro that I've got there. And I can just pull the excess off until later. Um, so I'm going to pack my wheel away. But we need to check out Adam's advent before we go to bed. So the socks for today, I'm wearing some Mud Punch yarn, which is a gorgeous self-striping that was really kindly gifted to me by my friend Peggy. And I did a short row heel on these because I didn't want to sort of spoil the stripes. These are a, like a really thick sport weight, I think, or a DK, I can't quite remember. Adam is wearing some crochet socks that I made, and I cannot remember the pattern name, but I will pop it in the description box um, down below. Um, I'll look it up tomorrow. Um, but these ones, I've never actually made crochet socks before, and I think these turned out quite nicely. They aren't as stretchy as knitted socks, but as long as you crochet them to fit, um, they fit around your foot nicely, but they don't stretch as much. So we're now on day six, Adam. Day six. Looks like we've got some sort of magical wands. It's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for that we'll fall 